Really nice out here today off the mid-channel bank area. When fishing this area, specialize in your technique. If you're someone that likes to mooch, cut plug herring. Work those depths, that's important. Current is critical up here. What happens is that if you're someone that does like to mooch, you get out here and you have no current flow. So the bait's not going to work very well. You're going to catch a lot of dogfish. If you are going to fish this and you're going to mooch, work with the current. I'm a troller. I troll with the current. If I have an incoming tide, I'll get up by Point Wilson and I'll start working with the current down along the ledges from 50 to 90 feet. As the current starts to move stronger, I start to move out a little bit deeper to 90 to 150 foot of water. You're going to find that those depths, 120 and 90 feet, are really going to be the key depths to target on. If you're someone that likes to jig, jigs are great, but you're going to have to work the slack water because if the water is moving fast, you're not going to be able to hang on the holes. There's some things of interest I'd like to point out to you when fishing the mid-channel bank area. First of all is the weather. You know, the wind comes up at a heartbeat and you can get yourself in trouble, especially with the small boat. The way that I'm able to tell what's happening with the wind is I check out the Port Townsend smokestacks. The smoke coming out of those stacks starts to bend over. The more, of course, it bends over, the rougher the water's going to get, the stronger the wind is. Here, let me show you what I mean. Right now, the smoke is starting to rise straight up. That means there's very little wind. So keep an eye on those stacks, because when that wind starts to drop and that smoke starts to fall over, I'll tell you what, rough water out here in the mid-channel area. The ferry boats that travel through the mid-channel bank area are something to be concerned about, especially when you have fog. They can't see the small boats, and I'll tell you, those ferries, they cannot maneuver that easy. So Right now we're off of Point Wilson, getting ready to show you some of the ledges I like to fish. And a big whale surfaced right next to us. Incredible. We're still looking for that whale. He's got to be in here. Right off of Point Wilson. Something else to be concerned about when fishing in this area is the fog. It's critical. Do you see what happens? Come out. That's right. <laughs> Something else to be concerned about up here is the fog. If you're in a small boat, the ferry boats that travel this water they have trouble picking you up on the radar. And the ferry course is right over the point of the mid-channel bank area. So pay attention to what's happening out here with fog signals. Know the rules of the road. And by all means, watch out for these ferry boats. Looking due west, we see over here Fort Warden. There's a little boat ramp in there. You can come out and you can work the shoreline in through here, and it's a great area to fish. It's protected by the northwesterly winds, and you can work in close to shore right off of Point Wilson. Matter of fact, the whale we just saw a few minutes ago was sitting right in this area. Point Wilson, it's a great spot, nice ledge. 
I've done real well off the Point Wilson area, right in through here. Matter of fact, that whale just surfaced right in here just a minute ago. Let me get my chart out and show you exactly where I'm sitting. We're sitting right about where the H is in the halibut. That's where we saw that whale. We're now going to move in closer and show you that troll for kings right off of Point Wilson itself in close where that boat ramp was. Let me show you that. Looking up close at Point Wilson. Now what I like to do is I like to get right in here tight to the beach and work this in close. These kings are right on that beach line in tight. Now the buoy off of Point Wilson right here is where I like to get my ling caught on this outer shelf. Boy, I've caught some big ling in there. Nice ling cod in there. You're going to see a lot of people in here working jigs and mooching in this shallow area. Right now we're in 150 foot of water. Point Wilson. Let's get up on the other side of the point and I'll show you the ling cod hole a little bit closer. Right now I'm right at the start of the lingcod area that's all rocky in here. A lot of rock in this area. Shallow too, but these ling are in close. If I was to look due south, I would see the point, and of course over there, Fort Warden, this area. And if I look a little bit southeast, of course I come down into Port Townsend, way down into the bay area and if I swing a little bit to the east more so there is the start of mid channel Maristone Point right way down there on an outgoing tide I would start at Maristone and I would make my drift towards Point Wilson on an incoming tide I would start my drift at Point Wilson here, and I would drift towards Maristone Point, staying in depths of 120 to 90 the whole way. That's important. If I'm mooching, I'll work with the current. If I'm jigging, I'll work on the slacks. If I'm trolling, I'll troll with the current. That's important. 